okay so this is the marker and um so what we did is that we we uh, calibrated is that is we made sure that we measured 0 0.6 meter between this uh, points so by the time it's moving around the space between here and here is 0 0.6 here and here is 0 0.6 so that means by the time it's making the mark we're going to be having 0 0.6 meter between the rows so this is going to be giving us three rows at a time so anytime it moves down it's giving us three rows and this is what the, um, the planters are going to follow so the like i said is a plow but we removed some of the parts of the plow and then we are able to use this part for what we want to do so it doesn't go too deep so that it doesn't affect the the soil it doesn't go too deep so there's a level of depth it goes to but majorly major thing is that it's going to be making the mark that we want for the planter for the planter to be able to move so that way we are able to get a precise and accurate measurement of within the row so the of um, distance between the rows. This is how market works. This is a row. This is another row. The space between the two rows is bet uh, with, um, between row, and then there's spacing within rows too. We have spacing within the row. That's where each stand of maize is going to be, and then we have spacing between the rows. So, if you're going to be planting to get a maximum yield, make sure that the space within the row. Depending on how you want to do it, space within the row, you could choose 0 0.25 within the row and then 0 0.75 between the rows. For us, because of the planter we are using, our planter has been cap calibrated to 0 0.30 meter. So for our within row is 0 0.3 meter, but between row is 0 0.6 meter. So we, cal we calibrate the, the planter, I mean the tractor, the marker. So the marker is calibrated and I mean that's adjusted to be giving us to the marking 0 0.6 meter. And then we calibrate the planter also to give us 0 0.3 meter. So at the end of the day, we are going to be having about 55,000 stands of maize at the end of the day okay. so this is the planter we are using um, we are using this planter because like i said precision to for us to be able to get the, the right um the right spacing that we want so it has two dispensers it has a dispenser for fertilizer and then it also has a dispenser for maize so here is the dispenser for fertilizer and this is dispenser for maize so what happens is that this is not just dispensing the maize it's going to be making a mark it's going to be clearing um, digging the hole and then it drops it drops the seed mind me it drops the seed okay so it makes the hole the sharp point makes the hole and then it drops the seed from here and then you have the fertilizer dispenser. So as it's planting, the fertilizer dispenser also drops fertilizer behind it. So one thing about um, this planting is that we are, we are able to apply fertilizer at planting. And then it does it in such a way that there's enough distance so that it's not too far from the seed. The fertilizer will not be too far from the seed. And then it's not too close to kill the seed. So it's just that precision. The drops is just at the right distance so that the seed can have access to the fertilizer. We're still going to be talking about nutrition later. And then this is going to come behind it and cover. So whatever is planted is going to be covered with this. So that is the, that's the mechanism of the planter. So here inside it, we have, um, this is where the seeds drop from the inside. So here you have um, 
the outlets this is where the seeds will be dropping from so this distance as everyone you can see that there's a distance between it and that distance is 30 uh, 0 0.3 that's 30 centimeter yeah 3.3 um 3.3 meter now we this planter is multi-purpose which is why i love it there are other types of planters so we have different outlets depending on the type of seed you want to plant so whatever whichever one we are using is going to be left opened and then this small one is actually something that can be used to plant sesame you know very tiny seeds we use it to plant sesame because we plant sesame too so this is used to plant sesame but when we are not using it it's going to be covered these also can be used to plant bigger seeds so we are going to be using this one because we are going to be planting maize so for anyone we are not going to use it's going to be covered like this and this will be left opened we are going to cover this one also because we are not using it and then at the back this is where the um, fertilizer is we are going to put fertilizer here so the fertilizer also goes out from here and that is where it's going to be dispensed okay so now we are getting ready for the planting the boys are Protein. So the, the, the fertilizer also has also been calibrated to give the measure. So there's there's a way to calibrate the the dispenser so that it will give the measure we want. For us, we're going to be using we want to use two bags of fertilizer per hectare. That's a 50 kg fertilizer. And um, before we got the fertilizer, we did a soil test, and using the soil test. We use the soil test to determine the kind of fertilizer we are, we are going to be using. So this, the fertilizer was custom made for our soil. So you can see that it's well covered. We have to really go down to get the, the seeds. So this is five days after, and then um, you see the the um, maize is sprouting now. And then you can see the spacing between each one. 